There's a car pulling in. Is it her? I don't know. Who is it? I don't know. That's Julie. Hi, Julie. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Cammie. I'm Julie. Nice to meet you. Neve. Hi. Hello. Well, hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. So what's going on? I mean, we're always surprised when the person that we're hoping to find is, in fact, that person. Mm -hmm. Which raises a whole nother set of questions. Ladaris obviously felt like he was sort of hitting a wall when it came to moving his relationship with you forward. So we just wanted to help, and now I'm not sure why it was even necessary. Um, so I don't like FaceTime. I got a chipped tooth, a cricket smile, so I don't like to like show my face on okay. camera or you know what I mean? I don't talk in videos or anything like that. So that's kind of an insecurity that I have. But I'm a single mom. So I do work full time and also go to school full time and I'm a single mom full time too. So it's kind of hard to like navigate all of those things at one time. And that's it? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, yeah. Everything that I told them is real. The military, you were in the military? Uh, yeah. You have a twin? I have a twin sister. Is that actually who we were talking to? Yeah, it was my twin sister. She <laughs> she got protective because I'm insecure and I've just been really stressed out. I'm sorry. Is this your house? No, this is actually my aunt's house. She's not home, but she's let me use it, so. Oh, okay. So why when he said, I feel like writing into Catfish is like my last resort to meeting you, I can either do that or we can meet or video chat. Why didn't you just do that? Yeah. I had a test on that day. I had an essay due. It would have taken you five minutes. It's just a lot. It's a lot. I'm not comfortable. Like, I'm insecure. Like, I don't like, I don't want to talk. Like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I don't look the same in fit photos, you know, filters and things like that. You know what I mean? Like, I think sure. you look exactly the same. I know that how we feel and how other people's perception of us are, are totally different things, and yeah. I understand that. But it's hard for me to understand. I don't know if you're nervous, but like your energy isn't necessarily giving that I you- I am nervous, really nervous. Are happy to see him. I am, I'm happy to see him. What are your feelings for him? I care a lot about him. Um, he's one of the closest people I have. He's helped me through some really, really tough times. He's always there for me when I call him. So I do, I mean, I love him. Like on a romantic level. Yeah. But there's some things that I need answered too for myself before I can even say that. So like um, what? This past summer, he planned to come out here and I probably shouldn't have been doing this, but all women do this. Like I kind of was just snooping through his Facebook page and you told me you went to your granddad's birthday party or something like that. Right. And you had a family photo with the girl that you were dating. Um, and I was like really taken back by it because you didn't tell me you were like in a committed relationship or anything like that. The wedding uh, relationship, we were just talking. At any point when you were talking to Julie, were you dating somebody else? Yeah, I mean, no. I talked to other people. You didn't tell me about it though before you decided to come up here and take me on a date and do all those things. Don't you think that should have been something that you brought up? It doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. I understand that. So that's why you canceled the trip. Yeah. You up and disappear off and on with me. So if you are off with me, I'm free to do what I ever that's I feel true. like I want to do. That's true, but like you should still kind of disclose that. I don't know. I feel like I was honest. I would like to call a family meeting. Uh, why don't you go in, we'll do a little meeting in the car, and then we'll meet you inside? Yeah. All right. Ooh. You said you weren't talking to anybody the whole time. No, I told, I said it was 
periods of time that she disappeared. So like, what am I supposed to do? Keep my life on hold? I can't talk to other people? She was off and on with me, so I've talked to people. I would be talking to other people too, for sure. But she obviously wasn't expecting for you to be in a relationship with somebody else. Is that reasonable? No. But is it reasonable so. for the woman that you're talking to to think that if you're gonna come all the way out here, that you're not seeing somebody else in that immediate time? I think we all would like to think that. Yeah, you're right. But that's it. That's her explanation for coming and going in three years, never FaceTiming and... I don't think it's a good enough reason. Right. That seems crazy to me. Yeah. I don't think this is all over a chip, too. So first thing I think we should just clear up, you understand that Ladaris had reason to believe you might not have been telling him the truth about who you are. Yeah, I can see how he could think that for sure. Primarily because you never FaceTimed or video chatted. Mm -hmm. You felt like if he saw an unfiltered version of you, he would be less attracted. Yeah. I chip my tooth, had it my whole life, yeah, but I just, it's an insecurity that I have, um, and I think that I'm scared of rejection because of it, you know what I mean? So um, it is something that I have to work on. I, I can't get it fixed right now because I have kids that need braces. So um, I just decide not to like make videos or do video chats because of it. Right. I think in our minds sometimes the things that we see as flaws are so, so big. And another person could look at it and be like, this is nothing, but it doesn't change the way that you feel about it. Right. But your intentions when talking to Ladaris were... They were pure. Were you thinking, I hope this leads to us meeting up and like seeing if we could be something? Yeah. So feelings were mutual. Interest was there. I want to clarify from your side of things, a few of those sort of absences where you ghosted, what was going on? So before I met him, I was actually getting out of a really toxic, abusive relationship and uh, I was kind of getting stalked. I've had to move multiple times. So like when I ghosted him, it's just me in survival mode kind of. So like, I guess talking and communicating isn't always my top priority. I'm sorry, like you don't deserve that and I, I understand that. And you can understand how the ghosting and that FaceTiming thing had Ladaris sort of with one foot out the door talking to other people. I mean, I can admit that I was wrong not FaceTiming you. I can take accountability for some of the things. Right. You know, spinning yeah. you and ghosting you and things like that. I can, yes. So I just feel like you can take accountability for some of your actions too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I apologize. You're right. And I should have been more honest. And if we can get past this, then I feel like we have something more. Not great. We can leave this stuff in the past. And you both like what you see? Very much so. Yeah. It looks like it's photo. Surprise. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> you guys seem comfortable with each other. You both took accountability for the miscommunications. Right. You're both sorry that that happened, but willing and excited to sort of move forward. Yeah. Yeah, fresh start. So let's just let you guys hang out then a little bit since you're here and talk right. for a bit. Okay. We'll get out of the way. Okay. Good seeing you finally. Yeah, about time. Only three years. <laughs> so what do you want to do moving forward then? Uh, we can see how we communicate, like... If, if we can continue being consistent... Right. Always sure. be honest with me. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to talk to other people, just be honest about it. Mm -hmm. So I don't... Don't run away, so I don't have to talk to nobody. Deal. Deal. If we can keep consistency and everything... So I, I can see it. We have chemistry. Yeah. Okay. We've never been two hopeless hookups, an identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. 
That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on! 